hey guys good day and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ariola afalabi in case you're just seeing this channel for the first time please don't make it your last time endeavor to subscribe to my channel like my video and you know join the family just join the family it's cool over here today we're going to be doing a little bit of life update and while doing that i'm going to be doing the simplest of makeup on my face like i've been using this routine for a long time and i've been feeling it because i finished my makeup in under seven to ten minutes but because i'm going to be talking here it might not be that fast but i promise it's very very easy and straightforward in case you like my hair today this is what they call the pineapple kind of style and <clears throat> i'm rocking that with my dread my dreadlocks in case you are feeling this, just go and start your dread. Like the Lux girls run the world. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I might not show you every of the product I'm going to be using because of time, but particularly this Nuban Beauty foundation is one of the best ever, ever. I've not used NAS, I've not used MAC before, but like talking about the Nigerian brand and the Zaron, I mix the both together because if you've watched my video before, you will know that when I was buying the boat, I made a very terrible mistake buying colors that are not my color and ever since then i've been mixing them together and they've been coming out really really nice so i usually do not mind i don't like my foundation to be exactly my color if possible i make it a little bit darker than my skin tone just a little bit maybe just half step down that's what i do i'm mixing it on my hand this is a kind of no makeup makeup look this is the foundation brush and i use it to spread it all over i spread it all over my face i don't think you guys can see how good this foundation is but it is like just one shade darker than my skin tone i noticed that whenever i use a brush to spread it before i now blend it i like the finished look and you don't have to go close to your eye area you just have to go underneath your eye so let's get into the life update the number one thing i want to talk about is the fact that i was demonetized <laughs> guys it is actually not funny i've been on youtube now for the past um close to two years october i'm going to be two years on youtube and i've been trying my best on youtube like i've been doing a lot on youtube but i also believe that it's not my time yet that's what i believe that's my general way of living life i believe that when it's not my time it is definitely not my time and there's nothing i can do about it and it just makes everything easier for me i'm going to be contouring i have been struggling with my watch hour i've already reached the threshold of the um subscriber count i've passed this 1000 subscribers and it's just so funny that i've not been able to move past that I was very close to monetization. I got to 3,200 watch hours, but I needed 4,000, just 3,200. And guys, let me tell you what really happened. <sighs> YouTube counts a year for you, like a year for you to get your 4,000 watch hours. If you don't get 4,000 watch hours, they're going to take back that no matter even if you have even if you like have 3900 they will take back the 3900 and give you zero for it to start all over again so i noticed that it was last year june that i had the highest um view on youtube and i was trying so hard for me to reach the, the 4000 watch hour but guys it did not happen on 24th of june youtube just took all of my 3300 watch hours and they left me with 200 watch hours so right now i've gone back to like zero and honestly i cannot even explain how i feel because if i explain how i feel just that's just me i don't know i can it is not explainable i don't know how i feel that's that's the honest truth i don't even know how i feel it's super super bad so this is the foundation and i dig in my sponge i first use that as my concealer for you know not like it's not very very light so i just use it as my concealer like that just to brighten up the underneath of my eye as youtube have they took the whole of the 
watch hours that I have been trying to gather. It's so funny that some people get watch hours, they get this 4,000 watch hours like 10 minutes after uploading their video, but it's even taking me more than a year to get it. And I think I've been able to improve on the quality of my um, videos. I've improved on so many things, but as I said before, I just believe that it's not my time yet. And when it's not your time, you cannot shine. Zikel HD concealer, and I'm just going to put very very small amount here just there i will not spread it because i've used that foundation as my concealer already so i just put it like this the this thing about this concealer is it dries up very very fast so you have to make sure that you it's when you are ready to blend it that you use it at least for me i do not i'm, I'm not really a big fan of it because it dries up quickly and i have to start spraying um extra setting spray for me to get what I want now I'm at 300 watch hours and not even many people watch my video like it's so so it gives me headache I have been uploading quality content I have been making it interesting I've been loving what I've been uploading before I just upload but right now I've been liking what I upload like I edit to the core and I love the editing so I hope that with time it's going to be my time <laughs> the next thing is i travel to my village as you all know if you are watching my vlog you would have seen that oh my god i've been having amazing vlogs from my village and it's been interesting because my village is not really a village it's like a village that is a town i don't know how to explain that but it is not a typical look very very local village there is a lot of modernization in my village. We have a university in my village. We have a federal polytechnic in my village. So it's not really a typical zero kind of village. No. Did always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds. People can change your life. A few friends with the So I use it for here, for here. And down my nose. So guys, my village has been interesting and I've already uploaded that video. I'm going to link it up here. You can go check it out. It's a very, very interesting vlog. Very, very, all my vlogs in this village has been super, super interesting. I've been really, really proud of myself because I've been loving the outcome of those editing of those videos. Like, it's giving me, you know, kind of, oh, you're getting there. I know that you can do it. You are getting there. And I've been loving it. So the next thing is my um, blush and <laughs> Lydia Stanley has also always told us do not be do not be afraid to use your blush and I go in with my Nuban Beauty um, fixing spray I spray it on it and I take my beauty blender and I swirl it inside like this swirl 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 like I'm not afraid to use blush. My teacher has told me to use blush and I've been using blush and I've been loving it. Nowadays, I cannot even do my makeup without blush. Like, I prefer to use blush and not even use uh, contouring and other. See, I go out with blush and I've been loving it. And you should also try it. Like, do not be afraid to use blush. Just do it. It's. Before I used to think that, you know, blush is for fair people. I'm a huge butterfly. <laughs> Her husband, oh my god, it's super super. They are like couples go. <laughs> Let me talk about this guy again. Let me just leave this guy. Don't worry, the powdering and everything is going to cover up all these things that you're thinking is too harsh. I take my um, pressed powder. This one is from Glam Girls. It's a very, very good and affordable powder palette. Powder, and I just put my brush into it and I just do like this like making preparing that place for my setting powder and that's what I do there so this is the setting powder and I do this as you guys can see I already look like a bride you can see everything in place you can see everything skinning and you can just just look at me let her go for a wedding like this <laughs> I allow this to continue to set while I go ahead to do my brows. This is simply what I do for my brows. I just take this and I swipe it up. Now I've been setting my brows with the uh, setting powder. I just swipe it up. 
for you to do my type of brows you have to make sure that your brows is very well shaped like mine I already and my brows are thick as I said no need anything else brows and I take this foundation the lighter foundation I put a little bit I go to this part just to highlight it a little bit can you guys see the difference between the boots I left my apartment guys if you know if you've been watching my videos you know that I've been dealing with cockroaches in my apartment and I hate cockroaches oh my god Actually, I left the house because of cockroaches so you should know the gravity of the dislike I have for cockroaches I was managing the house until I started to see rats I was like no 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 I cannot do this again let me go I cannot do this again no I'll just die me and rats and my my bed is on the floor so it's basically like if that rat should come close to me it's going to come and climb my body and all that I cannot just afford that Zaron black eye pencil and I just smudge this all over my eye I smudge it directly because I'm the only person that uses this I think I have eye problem you guys are going to see right now the way this makeup is looking good and good you see this eye will start bringing out water so I hate no matter what this eye does I must always put this black liner because that is what makes my makeup pop take the darkest shade of brown here and I go in from here, from underneath of my brows, I go in like this. I don't want to relocate to that area of, um, close to University of Ibadan. I want to relocate that, like, outside of that place. I want to go to where people are staying, not students. You guys, are you guys seeing this nose? Hey, <laughs> nose for this. <laughs> but because of harsh lines, I take this fluffy brush. Sorry. I take this fluffy brush, I dip it into this and this color and I come here and I do this just lightly. You guys see where I'm holding the brush? Just do this so that it's not going to be a harsh line. I take this, I saw it in this light, a little bit light and I just do this. I roll it. I come to this side where I put the concealer. If you notice, I've not used for an, uh, eyeshadow because I don't use eyeshadow when I'm running late. <laughs> so now I take this very big brush, I dip it in, in everywhere. I just give it this taste gently, gently. Just I do not have any flashback, any harsh line. I do not do eyeshadow, but I dip this into this and I just do this like this. I take my spray and I spray. It. I almost drench myself in it and, and allow it to sit. Yeah. Ordinary bad on there. Ordinary bad on. House rent 500,000. 500,000 for two bedroom flat, three bedroom flat. Depending on location, 700,000. I'm like, what is happening? I love the powdery feeling of my under eye, so that's the only place that I put my powder back. After I set. For every other place, I like it dewy. To be sincere, I do not do my lips every time because my lips are super cute. I've been loving these two lip gloss, this lip, lip gloss that I showed you the other day in one of the hauls. I'm going to be linking it up. So I just go in with this. This gloss was made for me. Take this lighter one and I use it here. The little remaining is my eyeliner and my mascara. I'm going to do this off camera and come back because I know this video is longer than I want it to be. So guys, I've applied the eyeliner and my mascara and I'm done with this look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. This is so, so, so beautiful. And yeah. The last update I have is that of my gadgets and <sighs> Jumia has been showing me a lot. I have been going through a lot. So if you are going through a lot, like the way I'm going through a lot, 
just continue going through that lot. We shall meet at the lot together because I ordered some things and Jumia sent. They said it's delivery from abroad, and they said it's ready for. It's ready to be delivered to me. I called the number they sent. The end. Uh, the delivery guy's number. It was switched off. The second day, they did the same thing to switch it off. So, who am I supposed to call? Since the person did not call me, who am I supposed to call? So, Jumia now said, Okay, since I know not it now, they are returning it, they're going to refund my money. The next day, I called immediately, like, instead of refunding the re returning the goods, just bring it back since I've asked for it. Even though you asked for delivery, maybe another time, there's no problem. But they refused. I called their customer care and they said they have to. I have to order. I'm like, but you guys say you've already ordered this thing from abroad. Instead of keeping it in your company or doing whatever you do with it, just send it to me. Like, just check, recheck your your computer and resend it back to me. But they say like you, so I'm even thinking that maybe they didn't even buy it. Maybe they did not order it from abroad because it's so funny. I pay for delivery, pay for everything, but. They still did not bring it, and that is the most important thing I needed. It was my mic, and now I had to reorder, and it's going to take another two weeks for it to come. So, guys, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. I hope you like my little life update, and then my makeup. I hope it's nice. I hope you love it, and I hope you're going to try this out. Yes. So, guys, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye.